Welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight I'm going to be doing a vlog. As I said, I do vlogs Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. But tonight it is Sunday. So yesterday I didn't vlog because I had a very busy day and I was not feeling well. Still not feeling well. Um, I think I'm about to get a cold. Um, I had some of the flu symptoms last night and I think I'm about to basically get a cold. My knee was very sore and throbbing, so I just didn't bother vlogging. I'm really sorry about that, guys. So yesterday, I went to, um, what did I do yesterday? Yesterday was Saturday. I don't think I did much yesterday. Um, I think I just went to the shopping center and, oh wait, yesterday was Saturday. I went to Ikea. Just thinking where I went yesterday. Saturday. Can you pick what mum did yesterday? Mm -mm. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, so as I said, yesterday was a very busy day. Um, so what I did, we went to um, the library. Um, yes, yeah, that's, that's right. Went to the library and I borrowed three movies and I saw my sister Sophie there with, her, and with um, DP and Isabella. Then after that, we went and had lunch. We had Hungry Jacks for lunch and then we went straight to Audi's and I just bought some toilet paper for home, which I haven't put it, uh, wait, I put it away. And I just bought a few bits from home and that's all I did yesterday came straight home and did a load of washing my husband went to my mom and dad's house to get a few things um and then that we needed um so yeah and then we um and then he came straight home and then i as i said when mitchell was gone i did a load of washing i did two two loads of washing i i folded two loads of washing um, I got guinea pigs ready for bed and I just sat down and watched the news and watched some Netflix, which I'm watching a show now on Netflix. It's a really good series, which I'll tell you all about it probably in tonight's vlog. Um, and then after that, my husband came home and brought dinner. We had Macca's for tea last night and I watched the news and then we watched a TV show and then I went into my room and watched some Netflix and then I just relaxed because I, as I said, I was not feeling well. Then today we went to um, Garden City. I got my eyebrows waxed, um, which I'm really happy about because I was growing caterpillars in my eyebrows, which I don't like. And then I went shopping and my husband bought me a few gifts today, which I want to show you. But at the moment, I just want to put my clothes away because these are the clothes that I washed last night that are dry. So I'm just going to put these away at the moment and then I'll show you the mini haul, what I got today. So that's what I'll do first. And when I got home, we got the guinea pigs ready for bed. My husband just went to get tea. We're having pizza tonight for tea. So he's just doing that. And then, um, then we're talking to you. So that's been my weekend. Hasn't been as busy, except today was busy. And yesterday was busy too. Um, but as I said, YouTubers do get busy. Their day doesn't just depend on just filming all day we do get busy we do have a busy lives um and the thing is when we're busy there's like sometimes we don't have time to vlog or film or put shows up and i don't like doing that i like to you know do what i'm supposed to do on my channel and make my channel succeed um what i mean is i do want to gain up to 400 subs by the end of this year fingers crossed it will happen I'm only going up to 310. YouTube is still fixing my sub count. Um, still, it says 302. I don't know what's going on. But there is a new thing with YouTube now. You've got to click on the notification bell so you know when my shows are up. And that's the only way you'll find out when my shows are up if you click on the notification bell. So, yeah. So I have, haven't had many people watch me this month. 
um, of YouTube of my shows or anything yet um, because as I said you really need to click on that notification bell because the only way I can tell you if you follow me on my media um, but the best thing the best option is is to click on the notification bell because sometimes I don't let you know until late um, if you follow me on Twitter I always let you know that my shows are up as well um, but the notification bell is the best thing to press on um, to know when my shows are up because it actually really lets you know so yeah so I've pressed the notification bell on every single show that I'm sub to um, I have to dis uh, like not dis sub but I have to click notification bells off on some channels um, these are like the big big youtubers um, one reason is is I want to finish watching the youtubers that have subbed to my channel and supporting me then watching famous youtubers out there that aren't not at uh, that aren't subbed to my channel or not supporting me so I had to click on the notification bell off the really big high youtubers um, because of that reason is because I've got so many youtubers to watch and I only really want to watch the people that are supporting my channel that are subbed to my channel that are there with me in the community that's why I had to delete a few um, uh, notification bills and then I went through my channels and I haven't watched many of these youtubers these are really big high youtubers and I have to um, unsub to their channels because I don't watch them much anymore and it's making my shows like it's making me think oh I've got so many subs that I've subbed to but these sub people that I don't really watch anymore so I have to delete them and now I can start watching the people that I do watch um, so being a YouTuber, it can be um, a bit stressful and a bit hard, um, but the thing is, you've got to make it easy on yourself by the reasons is, is um, notification bells, make sure you tell your viewers to press on your notification bells to let you know when their shows are up. Another thing is, is um, if you've got too many notification bells and they're really high YouTubers, they don't watch you or support you, there's no point notificating them like getting their notification bells on their shows because it's not fair on you and it's really hard on you and that's what has happened with me it's been really hard on me um doing this like i'm just trying to support the high youtubers out there but then i'm thinking i should support the people that are with me um so that's what i'm doing now is doing that i have as i said i've deleted a few youtubers um but it's only high youtubers it's people that don't really um, interest me and they don't wa bother watching me um, but the only ones I have to delete is quite a bit like um, just the big ones as I said like I've kept Alfie's and I've kept Zoella's but and I kept Sean's but I haven't kept um, I've turned Mark Ferris's uh, notification bill off um, because I don't really watch his so shows much um, but then because I am not like I what like I'm on his media like I've sub to his media so I know when his shows are up so I really don't need to press on the notification bell for his channel so I know when his shows are up so I have haven't bothered because it's just too much for me um for instance like Casper Lee I um dissubbed him uh one thing I dissub Casper Lee is his shows don't interest me as much as they used to and as I said I only want to support the people that support me so I'm still sub, sub to like high youtubers but I'm not going to notificate them so I know what's going on um, pressing the notification bell um, as I said I've got to make things easier for myself than harder for myself and I just want to let you I just want you guys to let me know what you think me doing that like would you do that like if it's so hard on you um you know because i like to know things like this too i just want to show you my little boy teddy's asleep he's asleep are you sleeping hey he's sleeping here give me, i'll show you here so my little boy oh look at your hair look at your little hair <laughs> this is my little boy guys This is my little boy. My little boy. Insha. Tired. 
Du Teuen. He's a very tired little boy today. Yes, he is. What are you trying? So, um, all right. I meant Ted. Um, so if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Jennifer McBride. I do shows Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I don't do shows on Sundays, and I film on Sunday, Saturdays too. If you're new to my channel, hi, I have two guinea pigs and a cat, Mia, Sylvia, and this little boy, Teddy. So yeah, I'm just going to put him back in his cage because he wants to go back. I'm just going to put him back. Go, go. In your cage, come on. Go and eat your food. Go, go. Eat your food. No, eat your food. <laughs> so he's just going to eat his dinner. I'm just going to pop these away, guys. I won't be a sec. Sorry guys, I just got a phone call from my sister-in-law, uh, so I just needed to talk to her. Um, it was something really cool and exciting. Um, I'm going to be a model for her tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to doing that. And I'm just looking for a white t-shirt and um, just, you know, white t-shirts. Like, there's this one, but this is all tied up. I don't know. I've never done this before. I've never been a model for someone before. So, you know, it's very... I don't know what to wear. Like, I've got my tights ready for tomorrow. And now I'm going to find a top. This one is really cute. It's Mickey Mouse. I, hope, I like Mickey Mouse. Um, it's not stained or anything. I think I'm going to have to wear Mickey tomorrow. So, I'm going to wear Mickey tomorrow. Who knows why? It doesn't have spots. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna get my clothes ready so I'm prepared. But I'm really sorry that I had to stop the vlog when I was on the phone to my sister in law. I had to speak to her, that's all. So things like this does happen. Now I need to make sure I've got a bra ready for tomorrow. Perfect. And a pair of panties. Okay, that is all ready for tomorrow. Ugh. Okay, now. Now, I think I'm going to just take the brand back tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to show you a haul before I stop the vlog. I'm really sorry, as I said. Um, so I'm going to show you a haul now. So I went shopping and I went to my favourite shop. It's called Daiso at um, Garden City. And I needed a few things. But first I went to Big W and I bought my husband a top because he needed some clothes. Um, which I'm starting to shop for him this week for his, um, for his birthday. So this is the top I bought him. It's so, so cute. I really love it and it was only $6. Um, and it's very warm. He always said he would love it. So I bought him that. And then my husband bought me something so sweet, which I haven't had a bag like this, like I've never bought a bag like this. And Mitchell said pick a bag, so I picked a bag. And these bags are marked down for, from $25. So this bag was only $10. And the thing I love this bag, it's just a really good bag, so I can just go out to the movies or whatever, because I'm going to the movies with my sister that this Tuesday next Tuesday so I'm looking forward to learning that and I'll be able to take this little cute bag with me which I'm really excited to use and it comes with a zipper at the front and um, there's the price tag for Stendhal's and then it comes with a little thing which I'm going to cut, cut it off I won't be, I'll be a second so I'm just going to cut the tag off now this is what I don't really okay just fill in my bag and then I'm just going to cut this tag off. Okay. 
So, and I've just cut the tags off. Now I'm going to open the bag and it comes with lots and lots of paper. Now, this is so much paper. It's right through my bag. So much. So it's like four sets of these. I can do that. I don't need that. So I'm going to now the cool thing, I love this bag, I know it doesn't come with like a handle, but it only comes with like a handle at the front, which I really love. Um, I'm just going to open that. And then it, the thing I love about it, it comes with a little zipper right in the middle. So, so cool. My favourite colour is blue, but I've never had a red bag before, so I'm really looking forward to using this. It comes with a little key ring, so my husband bought this, which I really love for... Um, he said just a gift, um, so I really love it. So, yeah. So we actually, we bought each other a gift each. Okay. So then um, we went to Daiso. And I bought a bag for 280 because I didn't have a bag. And I needed a bag because I'll show you why. So my husband wanted some thick folders. So I bought him them. And you get two thick folders for $2.80. Such a good price. And then I needed to get a mat in my bath, which I'm going to put in my bath very soon. And this was only $3.80. So, and it's really safe and um, it sticks into the bath so nothing will happen because I, I normally sleep. So, you know. Then these pens are so cute. Now, this is my husband's pen. He wanted a poo pen. So, I bought him a poo pen. It's funny. And then I bought myself this really cool um, cat pen. For 280 okay and then i bought this little cutlery set which i've never never known and there's such thing as a cutlery set that way um so this is a fork and it's a spoon and i think you put it like okay so i don't use that one so there must be like chopsticks or something so you pop this in there that's the fork. How cool is that? And you can take it away with you and go on holidays and I really love it. And it was only 280. So yeah. Then I got this, which I got my sister one. Um you scrub all your um your socks and things on it. It's like a little scrubbing board, and that was 280. And then I bought this, which I love. Um, it can open bottles. It's good for like frying pans, and it's a, called a power mat, so it keeps the heat off your hands. And that was two eighty, and that's all I bought. So I'm really happy with the purchases I purchased today. Let me know down at the bottom which one you liked, and um, yeah. So that is what I wanted to show you, and that is all I bought. So I'm really happy about it. <laughs> so I need to put all this stuff away now. Because I don't leave them in bags and things. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to take you with me while I put this stuff away. So this is my bathroom. I really like how I put the flowers. The flowers are there for now until I get that nice um, thing in the bath. So I'm just going to pop the mat in here. And it sticks into the floor, apparently. I've got to bin all this now, so I'm going to bin all this. 
I might leave you guys in the kitchen while I grab all the rest of the stuff because I've got to put them away in the kitchen anyway. So I'm going to leave you guys here just so it's easy for me. Like, so Okay, so um, so I think next month, the end of next month, um, there won't be any plastic bags in Australia and we're going to start buying bags. Now, so I have bought a few bags because when I do my groceries, I'd rather have bags with me than, you know, purchasing a bag when you've got all these groceries. So I'm starting to purchase bags now and all the plastic bags are going, which it's fantastic for the environment so and you know the fish and all that and the animals and stuff because it's just fantastic because yeah so I'm really looking forward to just using normal bags and taking them out with me um, they do it now at Daiso they started doing that in Daiso um, I think they've always done it in Daiso and I think it's a great idea because the bags are bigger and you can put your things in the bags and stuff they do it in Audis as well and now they're going to start doing it everywhere else. Woolworths, Coles, Kmart, Target, everywhere, um, which is really good. Um, so this is what I really love, and I gave one to my sister, Veronica. She loves it so much. She said it does the job. Um, you can clean with it. You can wash dishes with it. You can actually do anything with it. It's a hand soap and... So you pop in your little hand, or wait, is that hands? Hand, and you wash, you can wash your dishes as I said. So you put a little bit of liquid, wash your dishes, and it is really cool, only 280. I really love them. And I gave one to Veronica, so I sent my sister, and um, it does the job. Like you can scrub, so you put some soap on here and you scrub your socks, and um, you put soap on here and you can scrub your dishes, wash your dishes. It, as I said, it's really good, so I really love it. So I'm just going to keep that in my kitchen. That goes there in the bin. As I said, I don't keep plastic bags or anything. I throw them out. Um, I've still like got a few plastic bags. I don't keep plastic from things I purchase. I always throw them out. And then this is uh, for, like, for the stove and that. So I think you can just slip it on there. I don't know what you can do with that. Just put that in the cupboard. Alright, so that's all going to put away for now. As I said, I've still got my handbag to put away in that. So, yeah, so I'm going to have a busy morning tomorrow. I'm going to have to get up around 7 30 because um, I've got to head off to the Gold Coast tomorrow. I live in Brisbane, so, and it's Gold Coast, so I have to be up around 7 30, get ready to get going, and then head to. Um, the school tomorrow so yeah as I said I am going to be a model tomorrow for my sister-in-law 
These pads are really cute, hey. Um, so yeah, and I'm not a really morning person. I love my sleep ins, but I know I can do my have my sleep in like when I get home, um, or have a sleep in later off when I get like um, like have my sleep in on Tuesday because I always have my sleep ins. I really like having them because I get very tired and so it's only one day, so might as well do it. Get out there and do it. Um, oh, I'm just lying down in my bedroom. I've got a bit of a headache and I'm feeling a bit tired today. So I'm probably going to have a nap. And, uh, as I said, I don't know what I'm doing now. Um, so, as I said, I normally, whoops, I normally film on, um, Saturdays, but I was, as I said, I wasn't feeling well, and I'm still not feeling well, as I said, I'm starting to get a headache, I've just popped, put everything away that I bought, um, except that because my husband's office, so I'll put that in the office, then I've still got to put the top away and the bag away, um, which is going to be hard, but at the moment, I'm actually feeling a bit dizzy, if you know what I mean, I'm tired, and I'm not going to really do much now, except got to go to the toilet, so I've got to go to the toilet. <laughs> and I've got to um, watch some of my Netflix until Mitchell gets here with dinner. So, as I said, I'm not going to be doing much um, around that time. Um, like, now I might just go and have a nap. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to have to leave this vlog like the way, like, I won't, as I said, I won't finish it tonight, um, but I will put it up, like, part one of, um, Sunday's vlog, um, instead of, and then I'll just finish it tomorrow, because on Monday's I vlog anyway, um, so, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great Mother's Day, it's Mother's Day here, um, my mum's overseas still, she comes home next week, so, I am going to start buying her a few presents for her and then give it to her on Mother's Day, which is today, so I won't be able to give it to her until next week. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to let you guys go for now, and I'll talk to you soon. And don't forget to click on the notification bell to let you know my shows are up.